Opener. You don't need a lot of throttle on this either, too. I'm going to see how well she does 360s. Highly doubt uh, that it will hold here. Let's try it. Oh, I knew I had room with this big girl. I'm just kidding. That was pure damn luck. Little bit of skill, though. Little bit of skill, right? I mean, goddamn. That was... Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that, we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling, flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling, I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, what man, what is going on, Reach Sports Live Trade? Welcome back today, guys, to the channel Back here, Forza Horizon 3 And uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new vehicle that everybody was gifted the last couple of days now I don't know the year offhand but I know it's called the regalia now to be completely honest with you uh, oh shit I'm online I totally forgot hold on so there is no year it's the 723 quartz regalia um, to be honest with you it looks fantastic I love that they brought another kind of unique vehicle in to Forza and I mean obviously I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan I'm gonna be completely honest with you I've never played the games as a kid um, I just wasn't a fan of that turn-based gameplay some of you guys are uh, but I will say I'm a fan of the vehicles in the game man we have a 7.2 liter W12 if I'm not mistaken all-wheel drive 433 horsepower 511 foot-pounds of torque and it has a very interesting engine placement which we will get into after we do a little build on here we're gonna drive this stock get into a build do some drifting uh, I got some questions to be answered as well too it's a little Q&A sesh today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the G35 and our upcoming supposed track day uh, ladies and gentlemen if you do want to keep seeing Forza Horizon 3 on the channel don't forget to slap that like button the 723 Quartz Regalia. Hopefully I am pronouncing that properly. If you guys can give me any insight as to why this is in the game, uh, the last time that I heard was the fact that Final Fantasy, they needed Forza's help trying to bring the car into the game or some sort of physics. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but they needed Forza's help to really kind of finish the car. And uh, essentially what they did was they asked them to actually put the car in the game. Forza said, why not? Or turn 10, sorry. Uh, and uh, here we are, right? I mean, the car is in the game. What up, my dude? How you doing? Look at this man. He's cruising with us. You're on the wrong side of the road, sir. Figured today would be a perfect time to do a little build on here, throw it around, uh, and obviously get rid of the all-wheel drive very, very soon. But I just wanted to kind of cruise this as a stock car, see how it pulls. 5,600 pounds, man. It's not... Oh, my God. Get off of me, man. We'll put you in the wall, sir. But if you guys do have any insight to this being in the game, leave it in the comment section down below. And it'd be interesting to, uh, you know, have a look at those. This man wants it, eh? He wants a little drag race. The regalia will fly away, sir. That's actually one of the other things I forgot to mention. Um, gee, get out the way, sir. This thing's got some nasty backfire, though. Look at the pops, man. The pops are like gunshots out here. I hear those turbos just spooling up. No idea if it's twin. If it's a single, I don't know. It's probably, damn, one big one power in this shit. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I like that. But yeah, in the game, though, uh, this thing actually flies. And uh, it's a pretty unique machine. I was hoping that we were going to get that flying capability. But uh, obviously, I don't think that's going to happen, man. Maybe Forza Horizon 4, right? I mean, who knows on this? But I uh, think Peels, though, we get an actual solid burnout here. All-wheel drive, remember. Not bad at all. It sounds nice, too. I mean, holy shit. 723. I don't know what the significance of that is. Oh, country boy, 42070. Hey, I, all right, man. Take care, then. Guy just left me. Appreciate it. We're going to rip this handbrake on this corner right here. And I'm really hoping that Forza has delivered on the customization. Get out the way. Holy shit. The guy just stopped and turned around, man. Right at the damn apex, almost. Son of a bitch, but... Uh, actually, in the game, I watched a trailer on, you know, the car and, you know, how it looks in-game. There's a different version called the F-Type. Now, I don't know. It looks very much similar. It's just, obviously, it's over-exaggerated. It kind of resembles more or less, um... I mean, it has this ridiculous wide body that kind of pokes all around. It's very obnoxious. Obviously, you know, it's within the Final Fantasy realm and such like that. But, um, it does fly, though. And there's a, I think there's three different versions of this. So I'm wondering if they gave us any kind of body kits for it or, you know, a unique upgrade. I think that would be cool and interesting, especially for the fans of Final Fantasy. I mean, as I said, I don't I don't really care for the game, but, I mean, I care for this girl right now. It's a nice damn machine. Makes me want to go over there just to play Final Fantasy to say, uh, will she drift in-game, right? I mean, we can, I mean, maybe, man, maybe. If you guys want to see me play some Final Fantasy just for the regalia, 
Uh, leave that in the comment section down below. We're going to rip this here. Reverse entry almost. Here we go. I think it's a little bit too early. Yep. This guy watched the whole thing happen. Oh my god. He's probably like, yep, you're shit, buddy. Okay. Alright, we're going to go ahead and take this to the festival. I'm going to spend that $4,400. You know why? Because I got the money, man. Actually, I don't have that much money anymore. Oh my god. Do you see that front grill? That front grill looks like it is about to eat anything that comes in its path right now. And now this is actually the second third person camera out. Uh, if we look inside the interior, it has a really nice trim setting in here. And uh, I'm pretty jealous, man. I like this in the G. It's even got the clock right in the middle, man. That is classy right there. Um, I love the steering wheel. I love everything about this vehicle. I really do. Uh, and then obviously hood view. And then like I said though, the first third person is very close up. We get a good look at the rims actually. It's almost like an old school spoke mixed in with a five star. It's a very interesting setup. Uh, but it definitely fits the car, right? I mean this thing is just... It's, it's not even real, man. It's not even real, this thing. But it is crazy, though. Hopefully, we get more cars like this, um, you know, after Forza 7 has come out. And that was the, you know, the other main thing, was that I really do hope that Turn 10 continues working on this game. And, you know, trying to make this even better. Adding more content for people that, you know, still want to stay in Forza Horizon 3. And that's why I'm really hoping that we get some type of map pack for Forza Horizon 3. Like, an expansion of some sort again. But, again, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, but all I'm saying, though, it would be definitely nice to see it, especially for the people that are going to be playing this game for another full year, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying right now. Tire compound, uh, we have street, sport, race, horizon, race, rally, tire, damn, hot wheels, race, compound. Jeez, there's so many of them. I totally forgot how many there were. I was just about to tell you this coffee, but uh, it's a little cold now, and I, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of cold coffee, so I'm going to pass on that. I was drinking a large regular, but uh, now nothing. Thanks to uh, not having a microwave within arm's reach. That would actually... Oh, shit, man. Maybe I'll get a little microwave in here. That would be money right now. Mid-episode, open the microwave, start heating up the coffee. Uh, what do you think, man? Should I get a microwave in here? Shit, man. I don't know. Now, I did want to touch base on a few comments. And this one actually was from yesterday's episode that we did do. And that was driving the Zenvo ST1. Great car. But if you guys do remember on Top Gear, it actually caught fire during filming and uh, we had a comment here from Tommy and uh, he goes I think it was the Zenvo that burned your fingers man I was dying when I first heard that I actually threw that on as the pin comment for the day it was definitely a funny comment and then I found another one uh, that definitely hit me at home man we had Liam Walsh she goes he didn't say Sugio I, again man I don't I don't know how to say this word, man. Sugio, I don't know. I do know what it means now, though, actually. We're going to talk about that in a second. Uh, because he says, because he didn't want to get roasted like his fingers, man. I mean, oh my god. If you guys don't remember, I singed my fingers. They're burnt. If you guys don't know, the video uh, before this one actually was talking about that. But uh, for what? did I not change this? Whoa. Can we not even make this rear wheel drive right now? No way. That's, that's a thing. We cannot make this rear wheel drive. That is actually really disappointing right now. That sucks. <laughs> okay, well, thanks a lot, man. I mean, the car was almost great, and then now we can't even rear wheel drive it. Okay. Uh, whatever, man. We can't fly it. We can't rear wheel drive it. We just get to cruise in all wheel drive and throw it around, man. Throw a 5,600 pound car. Okay. You know what? I was actually talking to Anthony last night, and we were kind of talking about it. And I asked him, I was like, what the hell does that sticker even mean? And uh, he said it's like pretty much saying like you're just Jap AF. Like, but yeah, that's essentially what that is. If you guys would like to clarify that in the comment section down below, by all means, I'm making a jelly build, man. Screw this shit. Regalia is getting some soft suspension out here. Just spilled my coffee. That sucks. Worst part that it was just guzzling out too. It was like glug, 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 right? I mean, that's the worst part about spilling something is watching it just pour. Right before we go out here, I'm going to show you guys the Forza Vista. Note to self, don't have hot coffee close to you in arm's reach uh, next time, right? I mean, son of a bitch, I almost, uh, almost dumped the whole coffee out. We're going to go ahead and explode these pieces right here to expose what looks to be like the valve cover. The W12. So, I mean, it's definitely... Uh, you know, it's crazy, but I just don't understand why they're there. Because if we pop up the hood, there's nothing there. Right? I mean, it's definitely a crazy build. Uh, if you guys can explain this, by all means, leave it in the comment section. Oh my god, those doors are nice. How do these doors open? Whew, you gotta roll down the window, though. What if it's raining out, right? I mean, what the hell? There you have it. Uh, the Regalia. Smallest goddamn motor I've ever seen in my life. I 
Don't know how to explain that. I really don't, man. I can't even wiki that shit, right? <laughs> God damn. Here we go, though. We're going to take the same for a spin. Um, it's going to be quick, man. 100 on the rear and 50 on the front for the differential settings. Shorten the gears a little bit. And holy shit. Was not ready for that at all. Gears maybe a little bit low. We're just going to maybe just stay in a little bit of a higher gear here. Oh, she's smooth, though. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to whip it around this corner coming up. 145, 155. It's coming quick. Oh, shit. Brakes aren't good. But I'll tell you what brakes are not good is in the G35. Unfortunately, um, I told you guys I was supposed to be going to a track day on this Sunday coming up. And I went to go get my brake fluid flushed and a higher temp fluid. I was going to go a dot four. And unfortunately, uh, my master cylinder went on me when I was actually at the shop. Uh, you know, they were trying to flush it. And I, oh, god damn, man, pop it, girl. Unfortunately, um, my, my, you know, my master just went and it no longer holds pressure. So unfortunately, uh, with trying to fix something, it, oh, shit, it actually uh, did not work. And it kind of, oh, he honked. What up, my dude? Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, they're trying to fix it actually screwed it up even more so i had to baby it to get home and, and you know you guys may be asking well stop why don't you just buy one um unfortunately they checked every local shop around that would be able to order a master in and nobody had one for an 03 g35 unfortunately they were just not there they couldn't order them and uh the only place that could order them was a dealership and they wanted 500 dollars for a goddamn master cylinder so i'm gonna try to get one on some of the forums that I'm on, I'm also to the Facebook groups and see if potentially, uh, you know, anyone has a master that I can buy from them because I don't really want to take a 500 hit just for a goddamn master cylinder, man. And, you know, it's unfortunate because I wanted to hit the track, man. I definitely did. It was $95 this Sunday for three hours of lapping. You can do whatever you like for those three hours. The track is yours pretty much with everybody else. And I was really excited, man. I really was. I wanted to get some new clips. Want to do? I uh, also do my plenum spacer and test that out at the track. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that now for a little bit. So unfortunately, um, you know, it went. And you know, thankfully, it did when it did, and not when I was out. Um, but that is the name of the game, and you got to fix it, right? I mean, drift car stuff. I get. Well, I mean, I can't even say it's a drift car yet because I haven't even drifted the goddamn thing. But how about race car stuff? Right? Race car shit. Okay, how about that? Uh, considering it does does hit the track right i mean I, and and you know the thing that sucks was is that i wasn't even going to go hard on the brakes this time i was actually just going to be there for the cornering and such because obviously first and second corner you're pretty much maxing out your fourth gear and then coming oh I mean, you're pretty much just coming to fourth gear and then bringing it down to about third right so i mean it's a little bit of a heavy break on first and second corner which i was going to go easy on and then just kind of worry about the rest of the track but um fortunately i can't do any of that now unfortunately but um, that's okay, man. It was always next time, right? So if you guys are also working on your own project cars, let me know in the comment section what you're building, what year, what are you doing to it, and uh, if you've seen track time yet. That'd be kind of cool to go through all those comments and such. Excuse me. And I guess in general, if anybody has any comments that they would like to leave for next time, leave them in the comments section down below. We're going to be doing a little Q&A for these Forza videos, I think, because I've been really enjoying these. Uh, but I did have a comment here from randy54746 and he goes slap you need to do a let's play of me for speed underground one before payback releases now to be completely honest with you i am a down 100 percent man that actually is a game that i have yet to play on the channel um it is definitely an older one mind you right so i mean probably won't be a full let's play you know debating on how well it does and you know if people actually want to watch it uh but i definitely would like to get into me for speed underground one play that and at least relive that i mean at least the beginning cutscene if you guys have never seen underground one's beginning cutscene uh you gotta go watch it I, I was about to say i don't even want to be your friend man right i'm just kidding but all i'm saying though the cutscene was banging it was probably the craziest cutscene um of that era i'm not even kidding you check it out down below had that kind of fast and furious style to it and i'm curious what came out first? I'm pretty sure Underground 1 was out first. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. We do have another comment here from uh, Jonathan Harrison. And he goes, Do you know when the Grand Tour is back on? 
He's uh, actually talking about Season 2 of the Grand Tour. And unfortunately, I don't even know. But I do know it should be coming soon, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I saw an ad for it. Like, coming in the now. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. Yep. Tell me he's got the TST on the G37, man. Come Jesus, man. I see you. Look at this guy. Is that TST on there? I gotta see this. Oh my god, it is, man. Represent. I appreciate it, sir. We're gonna damn pull a backwards entry here. Oh, are you kidding me? That man right there screwed up my back. That was gonna, about to be a damn reverse entry. All wheel drive, though, right? It doesn't really count. We're gonna hit this. So the regalia holds here. Clutch kick it. Break in, understeer. It's not bad, man. 38. She's a tough girl to slide, though. Definitely. New personal best? No way. He's whipping her. You don't need a lot of flow on this either, too. I'm going to see how well she does 360s. Highly doubt uh, that it will hold here. Let's try it. Oh, I knew I had room with this big girl. I'm just kidding. That was pure damn luck. Little bit of skill, though. Little bit of skill, right? I mean, god damn, that was fun. Okay. This card definitely gets a thumbs up for me, at least. Let me know your thoughts down below. Did you download it? If you didn't, why not? Man? It's, you know, it's fun to at least come back on here and try to, uh, you know, experience some new things and just kind of give the game a little bit more life to it. I know I've said before that, the, you know, the game is drying out. It really is, man. I feel like it's just being left in the sun and, uh, you know, it's just slowly shriveling up, man. I, a little damn raisin sitting out here on this digital market, right? I mean, shit, man. Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching once again for today. We're going to be diving into some more episodes this weekend, including, but not limited to, Car Mechanic Sim 2018. I've been really enjoying that, and I want to do a full restoration build on that very, very soon. So make sure you guys keep a lock on the channel for that. We're also going to be taking a look at some Forza 6. And uh, I guess I didn't really speak about this, but there's no top 10 this week, mainly because, for one, I was supposed to work on it today if everything went to plan, but unfortunately, the master cylinder that blew just kind of threw the whole day off, and, uh, you know, I feel like it just, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush it the first day back. So, what I'm going to do is, uh, first top 10 back will be next week, Friday, for a brand new season if you will i'm excited for it let me know your thoughts down below if you have made it all the way to the end don't forget to slap that like button and if you guys haven't already you can follow me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are found down below we're gonna try for one more 360 before we head off for today man all the damn traffic though just put a slap train i'm out peace oh shit sorry four cars and they all black got four bras and they all that we call that darling doing this is my calling flow is so appalling my phone off and she calling i'm like yeah what it do penthouse man what have you